<laughs> it was probably like 79. <laughs> oh, 69. Uh... Welcome to another episode of Volume 1, the anime and manga podcast where we review the first volume of a brand new manga each week. But today it's another Chapter 1 bonus video. My name is Josh Magic Michaels. And today, as always, I am joined by... Megan X. Perrine. Oh, uh, Cody X squared Decker. I was going to do X. Oh, I'm sorry. X going to give it to you. All right. Oh. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, today we're going to be talking about chapter one of Chojin X from Sui Ishida, the creator, the mangaka of Tokyo Ghoul. Now this is going to be probably an extra brief video because I myself... Um, I'm not super familiar with Tokyo Ghoul. I don't think Cody is either, but Megan has uh, seen the anime, watched the anime, and you've watched uh, most of it, right? Yeah, I've watched Tokyo Ghoul. I've watched Tokyo Ghoul Re, which don't even get me started on that. Um, but, you know, I was, wa- I was seeing some articles about Shoujin X is so similar to Tokyo Ghoul. And it's like, but where, though? Yeah. I mean, like, I was expecting it to be, like, a total Tokyo Ghoul ripoff, and I did not get that vibe at all. I mean, sure, like, the mannerisms of the, you know, shojin are, like, kind of similar, but no way. It was, like, super shocking that I, I was expecting going into it Tokyo Ghoul, but it's not that at all. So if you're discouraged by that, just don't give a fuck what anyone else is saying. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I really personally can't see the similarities. Even though I didn't read the manga of Tokyo Ghoul, um, I can't really talk about that. But the, the anime, I mean, it, it, it's just not, not at all. Yeah, and, and as someone who's never read or watched Tokyo Ghoul, but I've been meaning to, obviously, um, I've been putting it off for a long time. Um, and hopefully we do get around to doing a volume one of it soon. Mm-hmm. Um, this was an, a, a very enjoyable experience you know outside of outside of it, it, it you know yeah. having known nothing about Tokyo Ghoul um this was a really really good experience and I really 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 enjoyed this first chapter I thought it set up a lot of things and I thought it set them up very well and I thought as far as chapter ones go again um it was it was it was it checked all the boxes I think it was it was something really worth reading it x'd all the boxes it huh? x'd yeah. all the boxes I watched some of the Tokyo Ghoul anime I just remember I was uh, I was in my youth when I knew about that, and I I really loved the power system. Yeah. of that of that uh, anime. I I didn't read any of it, and I know they like they made a video game that like they're clearly Tokyo Ghoul powers. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, like I know how the, how Tokyo Ghoul starts. I know how the fight scenes work. I know how the powers work. I don't I didn't see anything like it's the intro wasn't the. It it was the, I don't know what the comparison is. I mean, the only parallel would be maybe the end of the chapter when you know that I don't want to give too much away, but the, the, I guess like you know anything of transforming into something that you're not, mm-hmm. uh, maybe that's where they're going for it. But I didn't find any other similarities at all. Like the, I I don't know about the manga because I never read the Tokyo Ghoul manga, but like even the art seemed a little like more fun and like yeah a more like bright and like i don't know yeah you, you i was mean? really like, real but bright it was yeah. like realistic but you could tell that that sun is like there's not a cloudy yeah uh, aesthetic to it yeah i really love the two characters too the character yeah. designs for them um you have azuma aka coconut head who's like the <laughs> uh the the hero um, kind of character, and then the protagonist character, which is Tokyo, and I thought they were is both that Ren from uh, Promise Neverland. Um, Ray, you mean Ray? Ray. Yeah. A little Ray. bit, like a little grown up Ray. That's what it, I was. Yeah. yeah, you mean Lay? Lay. Yo. <laughs> oh yeah, from yeah. Um, <laughs> from the anime, they call him like Lay. Oh. <laughs> they say Lay instead of Ray. Don't yeah. bring up the anime. Too. Oh, yeah, not, not season, season two. 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 Uh, yikes! Yikes! Big yikes! Um, but yeah, dude. I mean, I I really like their friendship. I, this is a dynamic that we've seen obviously a lot in in manga, where you have a weaker protagonist who wants Why'd to be like his because uh, uh, you know because you know if if we had a manga. That'd be oh you. Oh my god, Josh. Um, and I'd be Azuma. Obviously, you know, I'd be swooping in there and I'd be like putting my arm around you and be like, <laughs> And I'd be the right. one that had really big dreams then, just like in the wow. beginning. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be up in the sky selling uh, produce. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. That shit took me out a little bit. I was like, Knowing nothing about this at all, yes. no. I was sort of like, okay, so main characters, they're going to yeah. get some sort of super, they're entering a tournament to yeah. uh, save their farm. Okay, yeah. cool. Who's this guy? Oh, okay. But oh, then, oh, 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 oh. And then it's just like, 
anyway, <laughs> like somebody's like, hey, there's a. Did you guys see that? Get, get back to work. I and, was like, my heart literally yeah. sank. I don't know why. I mean, I felt that. For, for, for like, knowing this character for only like a page, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God. And I, we've read series before where that happens. Someone's introduced in the first couple pages and they die right away. Uh, um, but this felt different. I don't know if, it, it, you know, I don't know if it was because she was just a cute little girl trying to sell. It was just aspirations to... for her life yeah. and just like building this like little uh, dream of hers. And you're like on board with it immediately. And then it's just. Yeah. Devastation. That's Devastation. what, like, uh, I'm not familiar with this person's writing, but, like, already the fact that, like, normally I will be like, okay, so this character exists to die. Yeah. Normally I immediately can d- can tell that, even though this is a the classic little girl who's talking about her future, I was like, I believed it. Me too. I, I know. never know what sold it. Everything else in my life that I have read that has done that <laughs> scene, I'm like, all right, so you're going to die. No yeah. expectations at all. Right out the gate was like, okay, I- I'm on board. Yeah. I'm literally on board. Yeah, and like, then I'm introduced to a completely different character that I also really liked right away. Dude, and just so much has happened in the first chapter mm-hmm. already. And it's like, I oh think my was God. Very 70 cool. something pages was the first chapter. I think yeah, it was like 75 was, or something. Yeah. It's like probably like 72. It's probably like <laughs> <laughs> it was probably like seventy nine. <laughs> oh, sixty nine. Uh... Uh, too true. <laughs> um, but like you're you're introduced. To, I like one character from the jump, not the real main character. Maybe she'll come back. Uh, and then we're introduced <laughs> to sure. maybe because we do find out later that there's a plane that crashes that there are survivors on, and yeah, the like, plane kind of a lot. Oh, yeah. like, do airplanes have that many people? Maybe I don't know. Someone was on there. I you know I'm Worst sure they'll explain fear, it. Honestly, uh, maybe they made the plane out of the black boxes that they used to. Huh? Yep. It's a dumb arrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, a, okay. it's for you know all the pilots watching right but now. But <laughs> I'm on board with the two characters immediately. I love their dynamic. I love a childhood friend. Uh, you know, uh, trope, if you will. Um, just someone who has someone's back. You know, protecting him. You know, just trying to make him feel better about like who he is and he shouldn't be you know ashamed but yeah you got azuma who's like the son of a police officer Mm -hmm. he's um very skilled in martial arts and so their entire friendship um with him in tokyo he's always kind of had tokyo's back because tokyo's been picked on a lot and i you know i i don't know he doesn't have superpowers um azuma doesn't um and and i don't know like i feel bad for tokyo because he just Everybody's accusing him of just like taking all the or, or wanting to take all the credit. They're comparing him to a vulture because he swoops in on the carcass and then he's just like eating whatever's left over because Azuma comes to save the day and he's in the, you know, he's in the limelight too. And yeah, he's best friends with the guy who does all the cool things. Yeah. And like by proxy, they're like, I mean, you're just soaking up the like the extras. Yeah. Okay. Like, what is it? Uh, it's another name for a vulture? Condor or? Um, I mean, that's another, another bird. name for it. It's another bird. It's another yeah. bird. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, they say it. Oh, do they? They don't call him. A, call I don't think a, they call I, him a condor. I, they call him a vulture. Yeah, vulture. A vulture. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because I condors remember. Condors are cool. Condors are scary. But anyway, uh, yeah, he tells them he's like, you know, I they called me a vulture, yeah. and he's like, you know, vultures can fly really high, so that's they can pretty fly cool. The highest. He's like, yeah. I could be a lion too. I was like, oh, yeah. poor baby. You know, that's what really surprised me about this writing is it like on well, not on paper, but you know, whatever. But like, it seemed like this can be very generic. Yeah, yeah. But I believed every like, oh, like normally. I'd be like, oh, okay, it's this dynamic. Oh, okay, it's that character. But I didn't feel any of that reading it. I was just like, all right, yeah, yeah. I believe I believed it, even though like I feel like anyone else, I would have been like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, you're. That's exactly what it is. It feels like, you know, I sort of like paint by numbers. This is what this is. I've seen it before, but then you're experiencing it, and you're like, it's everything is just hitting different right now. Yeah, yeah. everything is landing. I'm buying into everything. I think the home dynamic that he had with his dad and his sister, who his sister's like helping support him too. It's yeah, just an it's interesting so dynamic too. It just felt all really believable. I, I I connected with this series like immediately. Like not only am I excited to continue reading it, I'm like extremely excited to continue reading it. And uh, honestly, yeah, it makes me want to go back and read and watch Tokyo Ghoul too. Um, I, I there's only one chapter out right now. Um, I 
I can't wait till the next chapter comes yeah, out. Yeah, do that. Like cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, let's just say this too. Yeah. So Chojin <laughs> are apparently, which Chojin translates to, I believe, superhuman. So mm. um, yeah, that that was the other thing. It's like, oh, okay, so it's there are there's a select group of superpowered beings. Yeah. Very oh, straightforward. Damn, premise. Shoujin. Yes. Shoujin superhero X, right? And another, again, again, I don't mean to keep saying generic, but it, it you know. Oh, it, wow. That title is, is an example of that, right? Yeah. Superhero X. <laughs> yeah. That seems like the most generic title you can go for, but then it's like not that at all. But then it's not that at all. And we get a group of uh, delinquents, gangsters who are. Um, who oh, Azuma roughs up and then to get their revenge, they're approached by a shady figure in an alley, like, or, uh, not literally in an alley, but you know what I mean? And some, he gives some them sort of street. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very my hero vigilante esque right? with mm-hmm. the, um, you know, drug or, you know, yes. if you want to be powerful, take this. Yeah. And what's it called? Like, Cody, cool. the, the vigilante serum. Oh, trigger. 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 Yeah. He, uh, you know, opens up a briefcase. I got the solution for you. Yeah. You know, that was the thing. It's like, I had no, pro- I, I, that was the one where I was like, oh, that is so similar to My Hero Vigilantes. I'm for it. So. It was just I like I I'm really like what I don't know what this phenomenon is because I was like yeah. oh it's this, oh it's like that cool like it I was I I feel like I if that writer was a little bit worse I would yeah. have been like what the hell is that they just did My Hero they did blah 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 yeah I I I was for every yeah. bit it's of it. the fluidity of it and mm-hmm. like the tone like the 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 the, the pacing mm-hmm. of it it's just so like quick and you don't even like have time to register like like cody just said like that was a lot like this you were just like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay then you're like oh, oh yeah but i like that yeah and yeah I like no, this. It's, it's just a weird <laughs> yeah. power and yeah. back to chojin x it's the same thing tokyo ghoul what is it about yeah. a tokyo ghoul yeah. so it's like okay you know yeah and you know I, without giving away the ending of chapter one um, there is another moment, and it's sort of a, um, I'll say, a sacrificial moment. Jujutsu Kaisen. And, yeah, I mean, but again, you know, you're left talking about, you know, we read a lot of volume ones, obviously, and, yeah. you know, we to do that, we read a lot of chapter ones, obviously, and it just ended perfectly, too. On It, it was a, exactly the right moment. I feel like a lot of chapter ones will either, like, completely resolve something or they'll just leave too much hanging. This was like just enough to be like, I gotta fucking read. Mm-hmm. I think it's I a lot to do it. with just like a skilled mangaka mm-hmm. who knows what the fuck they're doing and knows how to hook a reader. And I mean, sometimes mangaka, I feel like, uh, you know, depending on like where they're like showing their manga, or, you know, they're scared of someone not like latching onto it immediately. That's why they have to get something resolved towards the end. That's why they have to get a character this way because if you don't get it this way, then people won't keep reading. But I think that this mangaka knows like, oh, I know my shit. Yeah. And it's like, you will keep reading if you like my work because you know what I'm capable of. And that's a prime example of that. Yeah, but I, I think what they're, and, and you're right, but I think it's they're not like relying on a Tokyo Ghoul fan base to support this. And you're not saying that, but I mean, they could have easily done that. Like I have yeah. this successful work. People who like that will like this. Um, I mean, it does feel like they're really still giving it this. They're all they're using all the skills they acquired mm-hmm. doing that series and applying it to this and doing it better. And it's just so yeah, fun I don't to watch. No, if I'm just wasn't I'm in a different mood or something. But I am like, yeah, I'm I'm excited to like I'm going to rewatch and like actually finish Tokyo Ghoul now so I can like just like see like oh this is where they were at there this is like this is them now like taking all that to this yeah it's interesting to see people's like perspective on the series because i hear a lot of you know mixed reviews about it uh, just the first chapter alone so it's kind of odd to me that people wouldn't just like take to it like we did i mean obviously it's like relative but... well you know what it's it's weird to me that we all experience the same thing <laughs> yeah. and we all like me and megan i think we have a lot of similar tastes me and cody have a lot of similar tastes but a lot of our tastes are different and for us to all have experienced the same, like you said, phenomenon is like very strange. Normally, to me. in something like this, I would be very like nitpicky, and that's why I'm I'm just confused because <laughs> I'm like I don't understand why just the way it was written, the pay like I I was just like that was that was that was a solid yeah. first chapter. Yeah. That's a solid world, solid characters, and I'm like I fell for the most cliche trap in the book, and I was I was there. I believed it. At no point was I just like who talked like that <laughs> yeah 
I, I, I'm like, I, this guy's, I really, that's why I'm like, I, I got it. I guess Tokyo Ghoul was really good. I just was too <laughs> yeah. young to appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I think obviously it goes without saying you've seen it here first. We don't usually like talk about this stuff until we get on the mic. So it's been really fun to figure out that you guys had the same experience that, <laughs> that I did. Um, but we all loved it. And we all, I think, highly recommend it. Chapter one just came out. You can get in on this very early on and uh, be one of the first people to really sort of gravitate to this series. Because if it if it keeps with this, um, uh, if it keeps being as good, then I think this is going to be another huge hit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. cool thing about getting into a series before it hits like main, major popularity is you could, will easily be able to get the first volume when it comes out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because otherwise you'll just be like, do you have it, please? And they're like, no. Yeah. We have you people come in all the time. Uh, Chainsaw Man. <laughs> yeah, so We're hard to find gonna... volume one of Chainsaw Man. We're not anyway. going to have it. I'm like, okay, can you order it for us? I'm like, no. <laughs> We're out. Thank you. <laughs> But um, that's going to do it for our chapter one little brief, short discussion of Chojin X. Like I said, if the quality keeps up, we are um, definitely going to want to do a volume one of this. And like I mentioned earlier, too, we're going to definitely want to do a, a volume one of Tokyo Ghoul, too, just to kind of revisit that. Um, do you guys have anything else to say before we get out of here? Honestly, we pretty much said we we, mm -hmm. we we boosted the series as much as possible. Like if you have any, uh, don't trust people are saying online, just go into it. You know, I had high expectations because of the creator, but honestly, they were like blown away. And yeah. I, I, I'm so excited to keep reading and I'm so excited to hear what you guys have to say about it, because I, I would love to do a volume one on this eventually. And it's going to be it's going to be a hit. I, yeah. I can already see it. It's it's going to be a great one. Yeah. Unless something crazy happens in the next <laughs> chapter that just is the worst thing ever, I've yeah. ever seen. I can't anticipate that. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I want to keep reading it. I'm like, OK, at what point? Will something hit a cliche and then I'll be like, all right, now I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah. Now that's too much because it's like that they got a, it got away with a lot of stuff for yeah. me yeah. Yeah. because of just how they pulled it off. And that's coming from Cody. Yeah, that's coming yeah. from Cody. Coming I'm from, like, from the Cody gang over here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Cody yeah. gang. Uh... <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, make sure to you know check out if you're if you're here because of the algorithm. Make sure to go back and check out some of our volume one episodes. Um, uh, the only thing left to do now is to get out of here in our outro. That's always the same and never changes. Which I think Megan has one today. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. I won't do the the lick, but yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Okay. No lick. I'll do I the. Guess. I'll do the okay, lick. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do the lick. I just want to lick my whole hand. Uh, <laughs> X marks the spot. All right. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time. X, X marks, marks the, the spot. That's right. I forgot to look at the other.